everyone. Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Project Perfumery India. And today we will be talking about something which I've been working on from last three months. So these are my frag boxes or as we say discovery sets in otherwise. So these are like the sample sets. Now all of these I've put on uh, perfumologist.com and perfumery.co.in both. So what are these? See, uh, right now we would be resuming shipping pretty soon. We'll be shipping these estimatedly in next one weeks of time going by let's see how the things goes so what are these these i've created little sets like these these are like three ml in spray format there are eight uh sample vials in each box so this is like for others of india these have like all natural others in extract form same way i have it for perfumologists so these are creations that i have made uh it's all of the detail I'm putting in link below so you can check it out for now. Let's come to the today's review. Today's I will be talking about some natural ingredients. So we all are pretty much locked up and you know we have been cut off from the outside world. So you could see there's resurrection of nature as well. So when I started this year I started at a note of discovering the natural the whole industry uh, where the Indian industry where the Kannauj comes into the picture and in fact I put a lot of videos around Kannauj in uh, before so you guys could check it out but now for now what I have done there I have identified some elemental uh, oils or the essential oils or others and I have tried to study them sniff them and explore them myself which I had been doing from this is like my first video after the whole lockdown thing happened so it's been Two weeks I've been doing pretty much exploring them all and th those are like pretty simple scents but at the same time you know if you spend more time with them you would understand the complexity part of it. So from there here comes my first natural blend which comes under my brand Perfumologist. So this is what I've done two weeks back this is called Perfumologist Umo. This is not this is a barbershop scent. I have a separate video coming for this and this is called Shamanic Roots. So look at this guy. So it's 30 ml extract the perfume and it's a natural blend so you would see the juice is really dark and if, if you let it sit for a while you would see the particles as well because it's a natural blend so there's a lot of stuff going in there so this is called shamanic roots which is nothing but my own version of shamama what is the story of shamama it's one of the most ancient others and every distiller every manufacturer have their own blend so it's, it's more like a secret recipe. So this is my recipe. I won't be keeping it a secret. I'll be literally telling you what notes this particular scent has. What's the inspiration behind it? How does it smell? And there have been a lot of people who have reviewed it as well. You could read the reviews too. So now let's come to Shamama. What is Shamama? So basically in very simple language, if I have to make you understand, uh, at many shops where I visited, so they mostly had this Hina. Hina is... Uh, one kind of atta. So if you smell henna, that is that that makes most of you know the 60% component of shamama. That is what I have um, discovered after sniffing and questioning a lot of uh, makers around how they make shamama. Apart from that, it's mixed blend of all spices. So coming to the shamama blend, what it is majorly, majorly it's more of uh, sandalwood, sandalwood along with uh, you, you would say there is kevra in it, there is cardamom in it, there is saffron in it. Apart from that, uh, they also use uh, the kind of uh, cinnamon as well. Then they use the mitti as well. So it is a blend of all traditional others. But yeah, one basic similarity you would note is that slight dark spicy touch. That dark spiciness is what makes shamama. And you know, uh, what I have sniffed so far are the basic shamama which I have used in this one so that I can blend it well with other components as well. Let me let me show you how we are doing the other bottles here. Uh, so these are like the traditional cookies they use there. So you could buy even this individual what what I used the blend the ingredients I used to make these blends are available. I'll put the link in description like this is vetiver. So the whole thing is turned green. This is uh, a thermity. So you would see this is more of a brown. This one is empty. So we are doing so this this itself the more you keep, the more stronger they get, the more they macerate. It's more like, you know, just preserving in, in, in the best condition possible. So now coming to this blend again. So the whole story of Shamama, most of the Shamama are complex, are complex. And whenever anybody, anybody like when I was a novice in others, now I have like spent like three to four months, but it's like a beginning for me. So I'm not yet going into the 
foods and more complex one i'm still at the stage one but yeah so when i um, tried to understand what is shamama i directly went online or directly google for some of the popular shamamas and then bought them so now most of them were synthetic of course because there is a price involved you need to go to the right uh, source the right person to buy it from because even if you go to the kanoch and you go to the retail market you would end up buying a mid grade or a low grade shamama or a simple hina uh, attar honestly because most of the people sell hina attar by saying shamama itself now coming to that then you would end up buying some expensive shamama which is like 3000 rupees a tola 4000 rupees a tola and that would be really really complex for your liking because you have been using designers you have been using niche as well and then suddenly you are given something which is very traditional very complex and it, it's for those guys who have been using real woods from years right so traditionally they are using attars those guys do not use perfume and you are somewhere in the transitioning phase so that that initial one spray gives you that kind of uh, nauseating feeling so that is like most that's what i my personal experience has been so i was pretty prepared but then when i went to the actual people who used to you are exporting 95% of their production those guys showed me the real thing which are very minimal very minimal and you know you could blend them the way you want so that is my basic blend which is called uh, shamanic shamama which is our shamama based on which is laid on sandalwood really minimalistic sandalwood and will give you the real feel of shamama so it contains sandalwood and topped up with spices some of the spices i will name it there's cinnamon to it there's saffron to it then apart from that we are using the uh, bark of mango tree which they use in havan so it it has most of the ingredient which we use in havan here so you would get that kind of vibe from this one so i would say if i have to define shamama so shamama is more like a spicy blend laid over sandalwood and topped up with whatever you want it could be saffron so that gives the whole uh, blend now i was reading about you know the whole let me set it up a little bit so i was reading about the whole attar making how are the components what should be so you know there are a lot of literature available and there is one of the books published and the published date is definitely in 15th or 16th century so and i'll, I'll put the name I'll, i'll see what was the name i do have noted it down So what it says, making a attar is more like making a kingdom. A kingdom has to be balanced, so there should be equal amount of positive people or the positive connects. Like how we have good people around, even if your business in a business, you'll have some really good customers. Then there are the that I would say more like you know the mid notes that that gives you that positiveness. And then there are uh, the moderate people who are actually neutral. That that makes attars. the base part which is mostly used as sandalwood and then there are the enemies that are the pungent elements which should, should be there because without it nobody is gonna you are never the best unless 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 until you have a competition right so even having that right amount of enemies if there are like too much of enemies it's it's not a balanced kingdom and if there are no enemies it's again not a balanced kingdom there's no one you could compete to so it's it's like making a attar or making a blend is like making a ideal kingdom or a ideal country or ideal organization i would say there has to be right amount of top mid and base so here the base are like all neutral elements the mid notes are like all supportive elements and the top notes that gives you that pungency are like the pungent elements so that's make the right composition so this composition talking about so it has 60% of the base as shamama on top of shamama i have added up um, very very aligar which is like the finest whatever you would find in india along with that I have added up uh, slight nuances here and there, but they are all natural. Uh, if I have to go by the notes, the notes of this particular fragrance, the label is pretty much done. It's more of a self-made label. Uh, the juice quality is absolutely stunning. And uh, yes, I would say try it out. I'm putting a sample for this one. This this will connect, give you that one connect to the nature that you have been missing. all this while in perfumery if you haven't tried a natural perfume i would say this would be a really good starting point if you want to explore more this is the whole box there are eight natural fragrances in this one so guys this is my first natural blend shamanic roots the whole idea was you know i have tried to make a video around it i'll see if i could put it the whole idea was to capture the smell of indian village it's like early morning you're passing through a village you you could smell what you could smell you could smell the greenery around you could smell the earthiness so we have used ample amount of 
uh, mid theater as well which gives you that earthy vibe as well and then there are uh, the whole fields are around so i'm using wet water which gives you that green punch apart from that we have this animalic substances which gives you that muddy cow dung sort of thing because yeah if you're walking through the village you would definitely find the houses are made of mud and cow dung is like they are in every house every house it's more like a integral part they cook on it even in the in attar making they use those kandas to heat the attar so it's like the basic element when it comes to it's like the fuel it's like the fuel i would say so yeah for that i have added a slight pungent element which gives that animalic vibe to it and that that's what i've tried to recreate you're passing through a indian village or you're staying in a indian village the whole houses are made of mud you would see the cow dung been there Uh, used as a fuel, the whatever is cooking, you could smell that. But yeah, it's not smoky. I'm trying to make a darker version of it, which is called shamanic oud, which I have added oud as well to it, which gives it a more darker vibe. So that's like shamanic uh, oud, and this is like shamanic roots. The basic shamama behind it is shamanic shamama, which is also available as a third or a spray. So that's what I've been working on. I'll be exploring a lot of naturals during the lockout. And guys, do not do not stop yourself from exploring more. I understand it's more of a luxury, and right now the luxury is not necessary. But you should not stop exploring. So this is my whole idea: do not stop exploring. Send, go order these frag boxes. We would ship them as soon as possible. As soon as you know, before the complete lockdown, I'm assuming you know the shipping would resume much much before that. So you would really good have a good time sitting at home exploring all these creations. So we have like 16 of such boxes right now, but I'm planning to add more and more to it. I'm planning to do more. reviews because i i had my enough time thinking and spending with couple of fragrances i have uh time to review them now so let's get started with more naturals coming up for now try my shamanic roots which is shamama plus vetiver plus slight elements here and there which i'm not telling right now but yes the link is below you could check out the review some Uh, experts have sent the people who have been using natural perfume for long time. I've sent them the samples for it, and you could get a sample for yourself as well, or a bottle if you are confident on what I've been building so far. It's more from Project Perfume in India. Check it out. I'll be posting a couple of more videos pretty soon. See so, ya. Yeah, bye.